Hello everyone! This is Foxel. Today I was working on trying to do the map idea I had a while back, which was you can do any design on the ground, and if you use a map, you should be able to put up your own little custom artwork. So what I did ahead of time for the video was figure out how big the actual area is. And that music is a little bit loud. And it doesn't seem like it matters. So we're just going to do that for now. Um, so the area squared, I found it was 128. So 128 by 128 gives you the area. And the area for how many blocks are inside is 16,384. So you have this large area, a fairly big area. So what you can see that I was doing over here was I was trying to figure out where the area started on the map. Because I made that map and then I was just trying to figure out where it all, it all started. And here, what I was trying to do is try to figure out how big you have to get the little block chunks to make it matter. So I start off small, which is just to see if each individual block could be seen from the map. And as you can see here, we have five blues going across and across here again and you can see I can easily tell there are five blocks on there. I, have, I may have to get up and look at my screen a little bit closer but I can definitely see like two reds up here and three blues yeah and then I just wanted to see if the purple and see if the purple had any difference being so close to another color. Now what I haven't tried was making a bigger chunk like this and seeing what it looks like on the map. And the color got a little bit more distorted it looks like. Hmm. But you can still tell what it looks like. Now let's see, if we do another chunk like that, how much would it change? Because we need to make sure that it looks good. Eh, that looks a lot better. Now... So from what I can tell, small little chunks, like a single line, the color seems like it distorts a little bit more on the map than if you had it in big chunks like this. So how big do we need to get it before it looks nice on the map? Because if it doesn't look nice, then why are we bothering to do this? You can't make anything look nice. You can't make any artwork. You might as well just um, use a mod to use custom. Do use custom artwork and change all those little paintings out yourself. But I feel as though you can't do mods if you're doing multiplayer. And I'm trying to make this so that even for multiplayer, it'll be fun and good. Hmm. Well, blue and red seem like they don't have any issues. And this 3x3 three three seems like it works best right now. So, if you do 3x3, three three, which means you can divide the 128 blocks by 3. And if you do that, straight off the bat, it's going to be around... Hmm, it's going to be... 42-ish. 42-ish. Point. Six. 
yeah, about 0.6. It's going to be more than 0.6 because it's still more of a fraction. So, which means you have to go down 42. You got to make e these blocks by 42 each. Like, you got there's only 42 of those bits going down. So, instead of having to do 128 individual blocks, if you keep doing it 3 by 3, you only have to worry about it going 42 down and 42 across, which means if you want to do bit artwork, you know, um, 32 bit, it's a little bit more reasonable. Or 16, oh, what was 16 bit? Could you do 16 bit with this? Hmm, let's see. Can I change my scene to the calculator and it looks like I can awesome alright so you see how I was doing the math so 128 divided by 16 and the reason why I'm doing that wait hmm oh yeah added it so uh, no cancel so 128 divided by 16. I'm using the calculator here because it's a lot easier. Alright, so it goes into it equally. And I, that's all I wanted to do was just to make sure it went into it equally. Because if you saw any fractions at all, kind of like how I did the math in my head for the 128 dividing that by 3, it was a fraction. Which means you won't get 3 by 3 little squares going all the way down. At some point it's going to be like half of a three. At this point, it, since it's six is going across all the way, it was going to be two-thirds of a square, which means you're going to have a two by three at the very end, or two by two at the very corner. So, it was it actually looks best to do um, well, 128, you want to do 16 bit. If you're going to do 16 bit, you can't actually do 16. Because if you do it by 16, we're saying the blocks are 16 blocks big. Or you could always look at it as each of the blocks are going to be 8 big for 16 bit. So. If we go back to here, if we say, well, let's turn back on the music now. I'm going to keep it low, though. So if we want to make sure that um, we can do something with 16 bits, just to show that it's feasible and reasonable. So... Let's start here in the very edge. So one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we're gonna go across. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So right here is gonna be one little pixel. If you want to do 16-bit using the map. So, I'm just going to finish this off before going back to the map. In fact, I can probably just have the map open constantly. Yeah, because you can do a wheel. And this is probably the best use of the map. And I'm going to use a bed real quick. Because I want to have people see what I'm doing without any issue. Do it, I can't do... um constant daylight on this already saved world alright so you can see there is the 8x8 chunk that I made of wool and on, on the map you see it does you can actually see it quite well but now we want to say we want to actually make it look like something not just the purple square but the entire area now this entire area so 
I'm going to go pause the recording and look up to see what to do. And when I come back, yeah, I'll probably be working on it or be already done by the time you guys can see what I did. And then we'll probably look into more possibilities of actually going out on a server and doing this for real. For reals. Alright, so... See you in a bit. And... Well, I think we got ourselves a winner. Alright, so we're back real quick. So I made a big black border around the entire artwork area because the actual design I was using is 15 by 15 pixels so it's not a perfect 16 bit picture however I can still use it because it's only it's less than 16 which means it'll still fit on here as designed but it won't be centered so I added the big black border around it because it's actually 4x4 four four for the design of the thickness but since I did it all the way around the perimeter it's actually it should add up to 8 on one well, 4 on one side, 4 on the other 4 on this side, 4 on the other so when you add all the just two of the sides together it should be 8 thickness which means it adds that one extra pixel block so we actually have one full pixel completely all around it. It's just a little bit spread out more. So now we can actually do the picture and have it centered in the area. So that's why I'm adding the big black border at first of all. And then I'll probably fill in any open gaps with um you know black with blackness. So we'll just fill it in all along here, probably, wherever wherever there's no actual design or artwork, it'll be black, or I can leave it green, but no, I'll leave it black because it'll look better at the end. Alright, so I'm probably going to start time lapse or something in a second, so talk to you guys after we're done, see you till then. Alright guys and gals, we're back! And as you can see, I have finished the picture! And it took me forever. I'm probably not even going to do a time lapse of it because it's just how long it took. So that will probably not be in the video of me actually making it. Because it's pretty simple. Just take a picture that is 16... Well, not exactly 16, but whatever size you want. Each of these map frames is 128 pixels or blocks long. So if you get a picture that's 128 by 128 pixels, and you make each pixel into a Minecraft block, you can do just about anything. I made it simple. I made each of these little pixels be eight by eight blocks and because of that I was able to make a use a smaller picture but get it done faster because I only had to worry about each of these eight by eight pixels you know the only exception is these edges that to make it centered but at least it's nice and centered now and it does look like all, I think exactly like the picture, yeah, except for like you don't have the grid lines that I was using to help. So yeah, looks good. Rainbow Dash, all made and pretty. So now we just gotta stick it on the wall. So we're gonna need a frame. Uh, oh, whoops, and we're gonna need something to put it on some wood and do, 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 do. and I want to make a copy of the map because I know when you do put down the maps it tends to delete the map so 
I just want to make a quick copy of it. Oh, I can't. I need crafting table because there was no crafting screen for me. And that's map zero. I need map one. Make a copy. Excellent. All right. It doesn't actually use up the map because I'm in creative mode, but I was just being safe. Wow, that actually looks nice in Minecraft. <laughs> I can make infinite. But yeah. There you go. Without mods or anything, you can still have your custom pictures, custom maps in Minecraft. Let's see, does it actually delete the blocks in real time? I'm wondering about that. So... Yeah, it only updates it if you delete, if you actually bring up the map once it's already made but it doesn't do it, update the map until after you open up the map again because then all the maps get updated at that point in time so you could actually go ahead completely take this out and replace it with something different and as long as you don't bring up that original map you should still have the same picture here in theory, I don't know what will happen if you reload the server. This might actually just be blank or whatever. I don't know what will happen. I haven't done that much testing, considering all I do is just make the picture, and that was it. But yeah, fun. Something to do if you have hours, days, years of free time. Go make yourself little custom maps. Alright, that's all I'm going to do for today. So, bye! See ya, guys! And gals, bye!